Hello guys, welcome to GMAT Point. In this video, we will be discussing about the top colleges accepting the GMAT scores in India. So, we will be discussing everything about their fees, placement and the required GMAT scores to get into those colleges. Firstly, we know that GMAT or the Graduate Management Admission Test is one of the most widely taken MBA entrance exams globally and it is organized by the Graduate Management Admission Council. Every management aspirant hopes to achieve a very high score in the GMAT which will allow them to apply to their dream B schools. So before we start, please remember that the colleges given here are not based on any rankings because rankings may vary depending on different parameters. Also the GMAT cutoffs provided for each college is based on the cutoff of previous years and also the fees and placement details for these colleges are based on the information given on the respective college websites. Candidates are advised to check with the respective college websites before applying. Okay, so let's start with Indian School of Business Hyderabad. They also have a campus in Mohali and the major programs offered at the ISB are PGP and the YLP. The YLP program is basically for college freshers and the PGP program is for the working professionals. Now coming to the GMAT score that's required to get into the Indian School of Business Hyderabad. So basically there is no such definitive cutoff on the GMAT marks for the ISB. There are people who even get into ISB with a GMAT score of 600 plus or 650 plus but it's for those who have a very strong profile. But if your profile is weak, it's always better to have a score of 710 plus to make it into the ISB. So the fees for their MBA program is 35 plus lakhs and the average placement is around 28 plus lakh per annum. Next, we have Indian Institute of Management Ahmedabad. So the program for which IIM Ahmedabad accepts the GMAT scores is for their PGPX program. That is nothing but the postgraduate program in management for executives. So the GMAT score required to get into the PGPX program at IMA was 705 plus and the fees for this program stands at 28 lakhs and the average placement is 30 plus lakh per annum. Next we have IIM Bangalore. GMAT score required to get into IIM Bangalore EPGP program or the executive post graduate program was 695 plus. The fees for the program is 27 plus lakhs and the average placement was around 28 plus lakh per annum. IIM Calcutta. So the required GMAT score for the MBA executive program at IIM Calcutta stands at 700 plus. The fees for the program is 27 plus lakhs and the average placement stands at 26 plus lakh per annum. Next we have IIM Lucknow. The IIM Lucknow accepts GMAT score for their international program in management for executives which is a one year program. The required GMAT score is usually around 680 plus. The fees stands at 23 lakhs and the average placement is around 22 lakh per annum. IIM Indore. IIM Indore accepts the GMAT scores for their executive postgraduate program in management which is again a one year program. The cutoff was 580 but the required GMAT score of those candidates who finally made it to the program was higher. So it's always safe to have a score of 650 plus to get into the EPGP program at IIM Indore. The fees of the program stands at 20 lakhs and the average placement was 20 plus lakh per annum. Next moving on to SPJIMR Mumbai. So SPJIMR accepts the GMAT scores for their full-time flagship MBA program which is the PGDM. They also accept the GMAT scores for their uh, one-year MBA program which is the PGPM program. The required GMAT score for the PGDM program stands at 680 plus. However, to be on the safe side, a score of 700 plus is recommended. And for the PGPM program, usually the GMAT score is 650 plus. The fees for the PGDM program stands at 17.5 lakh. And the average placement was around 26 plus lakh per annum. Next we have XLRI Jamshedpur. So the program for which XLRI accepts the GMAT score is the PGDM program in general management uh, and earlier this was known as GMP and this is a 15 months program and the required GMAT score to get into the PGDM program at XLRI is around 700. The fee stands at 20 lakhs and the average placement of the top 50% of the batch was 20 lakh per annum. Next we have IMT Ghaziabad. So IMT Ghaziabad accepts the GMAT score for the flagship PGDM program. It also offers it also offers PGDM executive program which is a 15 months program and the required GMAT score for the PGDM program is 690 and for the PGDM executive program uh, which is for the working professionals for those who have around 5 years of work experience the minimum required GMAT score is 500 plus and also this cutoff uh, so this required GMAT score uh, for their PGDM program can also be 650 plus sometimes and this usually depends on the number of candidates applying for the program. However, to be on the safe side, it's better to score a GMAT score of around 690 plus. Their program fee stands at 19 plus lakh and for their PGDM executive program, the program fee is around 15 lakhs. And finally, their average placement stands around 14 plus lakhs per annum. Next, we have the Great Lakes Institute of Management Chennai. 
they accept GMAT scores for their postgraduate program in management which is a one year program. The required GMAT score to get into the Great Lakes Institute of Management is usually around 680. Their program fee stands at 19 lakhs and their average placement is around 13 plus lakh per annum. And also apart from these top 10 colleges, there are many other good B schools in India that accept the GMAT scores. And one such college is MDI which offers various executive MBA programs such as the National Management Program, PGDM Business Management Program and PGDM Executive Program and the fees for the NMP program that is the National Management Program at MDI is 15 lakhs and its average placement was around 19 plus lakhs per annum. Similarly, the other top B schools in India that accept the GMAT scores include KJ Somaya, Four School of Management, New Delhi, Lal Badu Shastri Institute of Management, Delhi. Then we have Bimtech Greater Noida, IMI Delhi. Then we have Tapmi, GIM Goa, that is uh, the Goa Institute of Management, Xavier University, Bhuneshwar, Maika Ahmedabad, and so on. So the required average GMAT score for uh, these colleges is usually around 650 or 650 plus. And also almost all the colleges that offer a one year MBA program accept the GMAT scores. Also apart from this, the foreign students and the NRI students can also apply for the two year full time MBA programs in India through their GMAT scores. And the top colleges accepting the GMAT scores for all the foreign students and NRI students include all the IIMs, XLRI, Jamshedpur, SPJMR, MDI, IMI, management departments of the IITs, IMT, Ghaziabad and so on. Also, the GMAT scores when applying for these top colleges should not be more than two years old. So again, candidates are uh, so again candidates must check with the official college websites before applying. So this was the list of the top colleges accepting the GMAT scores along with their fees and placements. If you have any other doubts regarding GMAT preparation, please put them in the comment section below. We'll try to answer as many of them as possible. So thank you so much guys. See you in the next video.